Hi everyone, I'm Davey and I'm going to show you guys how to make sushi rice bowls today. To make the sushi rice bowls, all you need is about 25 grams of cooked sushi rice, which is more or less one ounce, and a piece of cling film and some toppings. So for this one, we're just going to add some sushi rice into the cling film. Now you just wrap it round and you just twist. This forces the rice into a bowl. Make sure you release any air so that it just compacts a little bit. And this forces into the sphere. Now you unwrap, then you add your toppings, which in this case is some smoked salmon and a little piece of nori. Now shine side up and you just put it on. Now you put the whole thing back into the cling film, putting the toppings down, wrap around the cling film again, twist it a little bit again just to make it spherical and get the ingredients stuck onto the bowl. Now you unwrap it and that's it. Done. One smoked salmon bowl. There's nothing more to it. It's a very simple recipe, but these are great for any kind of occasion. You have lots of different varieties and you just mix and match. It would be great for weddings, events, any kind. I mean, even just a little starter in a sushi restaurant, that would be incredible. You add a little bit of soy sauce and some wasabi on the side. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to do another simple little sushi rice bowl using smoked salmon again. Now you put your 25 grams, more or less, one ounce of cooked sushi rice inside your cling film. Wrap it around again. Pull it through and then just turn. And this makes that sphere again. Now you unwrap. Place a piece of smoked salmon on top. Like so. For this one I'm going to add thin little strips of nori which i've just cut with a scissor and you just wrap them around like so mm, they're very fragile watch out you don't have to press it too tightly just just wrap it around softly and it will tighten up itself if need be okay now you place it inside your cling film once more wrap it tight Okay, now let go again, take it out. And for this one, we're gonna add a little bit of kelpie mayo, a little dot. This is great Japanese mayo. You should really get some if you don't have them already. And then a little bit of silk egg yolk. Now this is very easy to make. I made a little video to show you guys how. A link will appear now in the top left corner. And we're gonna add one salmon egg. Okay, there we go. And that's how you make a beautiful, beautiful little sushi bowl with smoked salmon. Now for this one, you wanna make a cross of tuna over the sushi bowl. Now it doesn't have to meet at the bottom. You just have to get it more or less that it covers all the way around. Now. You take strips of nori, which you cut out with a scissor, and this you do want to make the meat of the other side of the sushi roll. So you put them at 45 degree angles to the original strips of tuna, and you just make sure that they go over each other at the bottom. Okay, there we go. And one more. Okay. All right, so once you've put the two crosses, now you want to put one around. Okay, so there, you just wrap them around, make them go over each other. The nori itself, once it gets damp, will actually tighten and compress what you've done. Now we wrap it in cling film again. And now you just tighten it up. And this will firm it up, make it nice and circular, get all the ingredients really stuck to the rice. So you don't have to do any of the work. Just make sure there's not much air in there because otherwise it won't properly tighten. 
Okay, so now I just release it. Now in itself is already beautiful. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of masago, flying fish row, on top. Okay, beautiful. And now you also add some either black masago, or you can just add some caviar, or some other type of eggs which are black, or just a different color to the original red ones you put. Now if you wanna get some masago or some more information about it, a link has appeared now on the left corner. Click it and it'll take you to my website where there's more information about where to get it, what it is. And that's another sushi rice bowl done. All right, for this one, I'm going to be using some tiny crooked prawns and some edamame beans, which are basically young soya beans, which have been just cooked slightly in its pod. And some pink sushi rice. If you want to know how to make pink sushi rice, a link has appeared now on the top left corner. Click that and it's a little video showing you how to make delicious pink raspberry rice. Okay, so the same as before, just lift up, drop down and rotate. Make it to a nice little sphere, release. Okay, now here what you're gonna do is you're gonna add two prawns, very small prawns, and you're just gonna leave a hole in between. Then we put the cling film back on, make sure to keep the prawns in place, and now just wrap tight again so that the prawns get fixed to the bowl of rice. Unravel. And now add a little splodge of kelpie mayonnaise. You can get this in my store. The link has just appeared on the left hand side. Now you add a little bit of silked egg yolk. Very simple to make. Again, a link has appeared on the left hand side to show you how to make this. And now you add one edamame bean, which is basically a young soya bean, lightly cooked in its pod. Very delicious. Okay, and last but not least, we finish it off by sprinkling a little bit of cut chive on top. Thank you for watching my how to make sushi rice balls video. Um, it takes me about 14 hours to make one of these videos from start to finish. And that's an average. It can actually be more depending on which video and whether it's cooking and stuff. And I would just like to request a small little favor from my viewers, you. Uh, if you could please press the share button below and then choose whichever social media platform you prefer, say Facebook or Twitter, Google Plus, there's a few to choose from, but that's like the main ones. And if you could please just take a moment and share this video, it would really, really, really help this video and my future videos. Or if you don't like this one and you prefer to share a different one of mine, do that to any of the other videos I have. It's a great way for more people to get into seeing my videos and then I get more people and then I get more motivated, I make more cooler stuff. All right. All right. Another great way to help me out besides pressing the like button, the share button, the favorite button, all those other buttons around YouTube is to just grab my website address, which is this here, and just paste that into Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or any other social media platform you desire and this will really help me out. Now you can find this link below in the description box. I'll put it as the first thing and just grab that, copy it and paste it onto whatever social media platform you're using and that'll really help me out to spread my website and make my work more known. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. I mean, I love you all equally and it's great. I mean, we've got now 4,000 subscribers by the time this video comes out, it's, it's a lot of people. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm honored.